And we, we just saw the picture of the, the bale of uh, barley, organic barley straw that's floating in the dam. Ron, why do you have this bale of straw in the dam? Going back about 20 years, we were having, every year we were having trouble with blue-green algae in our water. And uh, couldn't work out why, so they said, oh, copper sulphate will be the way to fix it. We um, put copper sulphate in and it would stop the bloom, but it only fed the plant for the next year. So we were guaranteed we were going to have um, blue-green algae again the following year. And then there was a, a man who had done some work up near Shepparton. He did a... Um, yeah, yeah, it was. It was Michael. Michael Hindmarsh, who did a um, study on it. And he found that the barley straw or old oaten, oaten straw, hay, the straw itself, especially from organic farms, it... Um, Actually, the enzymes that when the bacteria is attacking that puts oxygen in the water and it actually kills the, the algal grass. Because if you imagine, the blue-green algae is like a grass that grows in the deepest part of the water where there's no oxygen in the coldest time of the year. And as the water warms up, that grass goes to seed and hence the algal bloom. And that bloom is like little tiny round sago balls and each one of those little balls has a really poisonous gas inside it. And when it comes up into the atmosphere, it explodes. And what happens is when you put the copper sulphate onto it, it actually explodes all those little balls, exposes them out, they've all gone, but it actually feeds the plant to start again next year. So the actual barley straw, if at the rate of one small square bale per million litres twice a year, will stop your blue-green algae from forming. Why don't they use that in the town yeah, water source exactly. systems? Exactly, that's one of the secrets that's well exposed here.